if you've been feeling very irritable, feeling pushed over, stepped on, like things are just not moving at the pace that you want them to, there's a really big reason for that. And we're going to be talking about that in this video. I guess people <laughs> are kind of domineering. We're going to talk about it, about when things are published by me and they want a date. So fine. I am releasing this the week of April 21st, 2024, but these are timeless. Okay. That was confusing for someone who said, what do you mean they're timeless? Meaning you can see them anytime and get a message from them. But that right there is a lot of what we're going to be discussing here. And this week's video is going to be a little bit of storytelling. So please make sure that you are comfortable because I had, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, an epiphany, um, this huge clarification that occurred for me. And it was, if you guys don't know, for many years, but especially intensely in the past year, I have gone through major life changes. Some of them good, some of them really teaching me a hard lesson about allowing people back into my life. And recently, I have just been exhausted, <laughs> like spiritually exhausted. And so instead of doing sort of your daily maintenance prayer and meditation, uh, I went into a deep restorative spiritual practice. Now, people love to jump to conclusions. People love to speculate. People love, some people love to act like a know-it-all, right? And so the kind of work I do, I've been shoved into the New Age community. Um, I've been compared to some supposed, I know I'm saying it that way, I'm not trying to be... Uh, weird or controversial or anything, but I end up getting put in with people who are not talking to angels, but they claim to be talking to angels. I'm a Christian. I am a Christian, but the Christians don't accept me because I don't worship the way they do because there's so much nonsense. We're going to talk about that uh, going on in that community, a lot of fakeness going on in that community. Um, and new age people, don't usually <laughs> accept me because I say, well, yeah, I talked to Jesus and what, right? So I'm doing this deep spiritual thing and I'm feeling all of that kind of stuff come up to the surface, which is to say, um, I'm carrying some sort of deep hurt around that and it's cleansing its way out. And of course, I work a lot with Archangel Michael. I work a lot with Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Metatron, all the archangels. But, you know, they're sort of like the core group these days. And I was asking my questions. And I remember I came across something that I felt like I needed to look into. And it was the term Jezebel spirit. I needed to look into this. And there's a creator out on social media, who I've followed for years, who recently, um, I don't know, I guess she's a born-again Christian. I'm not real sure what her journey was, but she talks a lot about that. And I respect her enough and have respected her for years that I was interested in what she had to say about it. This took me down a rabbit hole <laughs> that I'm not sure <laughs> I'm even on steady ground with this. But the idea of this Jezebel spirit, okay, that in and of itself is not mentioned in the Bible. The person Jezebel is mentioned in the Bible and she's wicked and she's self-centered and domineering and, you know, I, I can't say everything here in this video, but not great, okay, like <laughs> really not great. And so somewhere that idea was sort of plucked from the personality traits of that person in the Bible. And um, now it, it can be an infectious spirit that can get people acting in a way that's, again, not great. Now, we would call that narcissism, okay? And as I'm listening to this, things are just hitting like, oh my gosh, that makes sense. We've talked about this before here. Uh, if you watch any of my videos, you know, I talk about, especially people we call narcissists, running on darkness, not running on Duncan. 
I don't know if my brain was the only one that went there. Maybe. <laughs> but on darkness and that, you know, leading to this entitled, know-it-all behavior, um, manipulative, just terrible, right? So I was very fascinated by this and I've always fascinated, I'm, I'm fascinated by people and people's belief systems. So I wanted to go around and see what's up with this. Okay. I came across a lovely article and you know what? I'm going to maybe tell you, I took a photo of the article so I could pass this along. Okay. So this is an article on Bible study tools. I can't say the rest of it, but you know, it's a website, right? Bible study tools. Uh, and it is an article by Mike Leak, L-E-A-K-E. -E. Uh, I would recommend that you go Google that and find it. No, I'm not going to post the leak. Google exists, right? It's like this. Yeah. And I'm saying that for good reason, because that's kind of part of that Jezebel spirit too, is the entitlement to go look it up for me or make it easy for me. Like it, it's a lot of traits, but you know, we'll get into that. But that was the article that I thought was the fairest treatment of that term. Because don't forget, something like that can be weaponized specifically against women. And I'm going to get into that. All right. So much to say on this. Gosh, where do I even <laughs> begin? Um, first and foremost, I'll tell you the reason why I like that article was because, you know, he gives a great explanation of this uh, concept and how it can affect people but he also says this needs to be used with care and not just throwing this term out at everybody because it has been used um, as sort of a misogynistic mantra um hang with me here um a misogynistic sort of mantra right and if someone if a woman is just powerful she can be called this or be thought to be not possessed but influenced yeah so I thought, you know what, and I'm reading through this and I'm like, gosh, you know, I've, I've seen this uh, many times, you know, I talk about narcissism all the time and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Now, this is part of that spiritual battle that we're talking about. You have to get ready for this. Okay. That is not to scare you. Uh, most of you watching this, you're not going to, you're not going to listen to it until it starts happening to you. That's just kind of how the human brain works. Now, in addition to all this, and it's kind of weird that this came up because I came across somebody who I found exceptionally unsettling and exceptionally unsettling because they have a covert nature about them. They try to come off as like, oh, you're so, you know, I'm so supportive of you and all this stuff. But if we're talking about this term of Jezebel spirit, this would be one of those. Okay. And um, I felt like that energy you know, got into me a little bit. It was aggravating me. It was draining me. And so, yeah, it was interesting that, you know, especially working with Archangel Michael and Jesus, right? Like that's part of my personal practice. Um, and if you don't like that, uh, all love and respect to you, watch the hate. Because I don't do hate. I ain't doing it. It'll just go right back to you. Not coming from me. Just return to sender on whatever BS you want to like throw my way. Okay. <laughs> like we're not doing that. We're not playing those games. So then I get into the more disturbing part of this research. And this was the thing that had me going. So I was going to film and load yesterday, but part of me was like, I'm not on anybody else's schedule. And from here on out, if you email me and go, where is your content? I am going to block you. You're out of line. I make my schedule. It's not up to you. <laughs> and again, that's a trait of a Jezebel spirit, right? Controlling. You know, they, they like to be next to the people in power. They want to manipulate not a person in power in this situation, but I am the one who runs this channel. And so just, you know, popping in just a little bit of uh, criticism or just a little bit of like subtle criticism about how you should have done something different so that you get all unsettled. It's part of the spiritual battle, guys. This is it. I'm full on in it. Some of you may claim that you're in it, but you're lying. Or 
You're not playing for the light. This has been part of the big epiphany that has occurred to me. So, again, I have a lot to say about this. I, I'm trying to not make this a two-hour video. Something shifted in me <laughs> to such a level. And I'm getting more on that. It was very freeing and lovely and in a sense. And yet, it's like turning around. You knew it was there. You could see that it was there. But it just came into like a vibrant color. And now... Yeah, you now you really see all the all the details, right? So upon the guidance here, I'm looking more into this concept and I come across this guy. Some of you may know who exactly who he is. Um I don't know what he is, a preacher. Let's just call him a preacher. Speaking to an audience of just men. That, that's already why. <laughs> if you're speaking to an audience of just men, it's because you're afraid of what women are going to have to say about what you have to say, right? So that's already kind of, hmm, what's going on there? And essentially, this man, oh, he goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on about this whole Jezebel thing and like, eh. <laughs> essentially, let me just break this down for you. If you are not a submissive traditional wife who stays quiet and obeys her man or her husband then you're a Jezebel in his eyes uh if you're wondering th at this point in the video if you're like okay name some traits of that type of spirit so again I gotta be careful with some of the things but unaliving someone I'm, I'm not saying that that literally means that you unalive someone but I'm just saying um I'm even hearing now people who even kind of make that ideation around that um, or who have thoughts of you are so lucky that I don't dot dot dot. Okay. Uh, someone who claims to be spiritually superior. Jezebel was, you know, I guess it sounds like a self-proclaimed prophetess. All right. And tried to get people to believe as she did. This is someone who is incredibly entitled, conniving, um, you know, very hypersexual, uh, uses sensuality, encourages people to be sensual. And really, that's a whole other discussion. But when you throw your sexuality around like that, um, your sexuality is your life force or the sexual energy is the life force. So when you allow that to be stolen, damaged, however you want to see that, you become less powerful. So this is where you see a lot of people going through spiritual abstinence, right? They, they go through, and we're talking years, years and years and years of this to maintain that energy in their energy field. This can also be somebody who... <laughs> Think they just like to be in control, okay? They like to be in control. Uh, they think everyone owes them something, right? For their very presence. You see how this is very much mirroring a narcissist, but as archetypes, now this could be in a man or a woman, which is something this preacher did mention. Uh, the thing I watched was an hour long. I watched the whole thing. Hmm. I did. I did. Because I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I don't think I could have looked away if I wanted to. But didn't mention that until pretty much the end. And it was like a three second, like, it could be men too. And then he went back to about, like, how women basically are too loud and too domineering. Um, and that sort of thing. But more on him later. But the archetype, you think of it as like the queen bee. The queen or king bee who... They have no respect for you. Let's say you have somebody who has this type of spirit influencing them, okay? Uh, they, you make plans with them. They invite a bunch of other people without even asking you. Like, it's your plan. If you say, hey, friend, I'd like to catch up with you. Would you like to go have lunch with me on Thursday at noon at this one place? 
and they will text you and say, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, we're going to meet here now. And then you go, okay, because maybe because what do we get trained to do? Like, don't fight it. Don't fight it. We are not to tolerate that. <laughs> okay, we are not to tolerate that because it just amplifies it. You put your, you're giving your energy to it in feeding the beast, essentially. But let's say you go ahead and you go with it because you're not in the mood for a fight today and you show up and this person has, um, basically <laughs> what I'm feeling is it's the feeling of they need to have their kingdom around them because if they feed off of people, they need to have a lot of people around and they don't care how it made you feel. And they're, they're not interested in genuine friendships. They will never be genuine friends. So I'm going to give that as part of the message. Start waking up to that. Another archetype of this would be the Karen. Okay. But I'm not talking about Karen, the term Karen that's used in this misogynistic way to silence women who are standing up for themselves and setting a boundary. Of course, people are disgusting and, you know, they have these dark influences that I've been talking about for forever. Um, they will try to call you that again, if you're just trying to stand up for yourself, but I'm talking like the real ones that are like short circuiting because they think everyone should listen to them and their way of seeing things is the only way of seeing things. The other archetype would be this preacher. This man stood in front of a, a crowd of men. It's like a, a theater of men. And was talking about how women get traumatized by men. And then they just hate men. And watch out for the Jezebel independent woman. Literally mentions trauma. And then degrades the woman who's been through that trauma. And then tries to fly under the radar. We got to get better at this. Okay. Tries to fly under the radar. By putting in this little disclaimer of it's why it's our job as men to be real men. So we can lift them up and we can save them. Now just my brain. I'm going, why don't you be a real man and go get your boys who are acting crazy? Why don't you go get your boys who are harming others? Oh, it's on the woman. And what does he mean by like saving them? He means conditioning them. Now, by his standards, I'd be a full-blown Jezebel. This kind of work. I never got married or had kids. How dare I exist without using my womb? I use it. Just I didn't give birth to a kid. And it doesn't mean I don't like kids. Well, it depends. Well, let's be clear. I don't like parents sometimes. Some of y'all, you're whack, just wackos. Like, <laughs> sometimes, okay? But I do love kids and all that. But by this person's standards, I am not worthy as a human. As a matter of fact, I'm walking this planet ruining humanity or something <laughs> by my existence and other people women specifically like me now why do I call him a Jezebel spiritual superiority dominance governance he's preaching and infecting people with his ideas manipulation and you're not going to tell me that that, is, that person doesn't have some conniving tendencies. He just seems like that kind of person who would make sure he has the right people behind him. Who makes sure that he intimidates people. A man embodying this type of spirit and energy. Claiming that everybody else is like that. Now I could go on and on and on on this topic. But when it comes to the idea of uh, spiritual warfare. When I tell you it's on. If you have somebody 
who says, I don't have anything else to learn. I'm going to, you know, the D, right? But I don't like saying it's that type of influence on that person. If they think they're spiritually advanced, more advanced than anybody else, it's that type of energy on that person. So that's where it gets tricky. If you've ever been around, uh, so I was just having this thought the other day. Um, there's somebody that I unconditionally love, but I believe them to be a sociopath. And I'm not saying that in a joking way. I believe them to be a sociopath. And one of the most tragic things is watching this person trying to access a part of their brain that they can't get to. Like you can see them wanting to understand empathy, but they just can't reach it. Maybe that makes them not feel powerful, and so they start doing evil things to make themselves feel something. But it, I think it's sort of like that. You know, I mean, people just... <sighs> I'm hearing, like, people are running amok. <laughs> running amok. And a lot of the movies that you see out there about this sort of stuff, not quite zombie movies necessarily... But some of those movies are not that far off. This energy influencing us. And I realized, and I think this is why it came up, was that I started to be influenced by some of these energies myself. How so? I started getting influenced into thinking that my life was not worth anything. That I have not done guess enough right or I've wasted my life I guess that's a midlife crisis kind of thing <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll deal with that but um, I started to let that influence creep in and I had been neglecting because there's so much pressure I said what I said okay there's so much pressure to show up here to try to inspire other people to make sure everyone's feeling okay and it was at the expense of my own mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health. And I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. And it's okay for me to say it. It's okay for other people to say it. Let's see what we have here. Liberation. There you go. You don't have to live by anybody else's standards or anybody else's rules. Divine order. What I was getting at is that the, the spiritual warfare that's going on, especially in the spiritual community, I may have said this before, but I don't want to be identified as being a part of it. Not all of you. I mean, some of you are like, what? Like, <laughs> You know the ones, like I show up for your videos, I show up for your lives because I adore you and I believe in what you're doing, okay? So I'm not talking about you, all right? That's not what we're saying here. But I cannot tell you how many times I have given myself over and read for someone who just wanted to put that influence or tried to put that influence on me. And it was a lot to try to push it back out and to, you know, cleanse it or cleanse my energy or whatever, which I don't even like saying because it's like, I don't know, it's kind of implying like everyone else is so icky and I'm so perfect. No, no, I mean, not at all. But some of these people are actually this Jezebel spirit, if you want to see it that way, or I see it as narcissism. So then going back and having a whole smear campaign, you have to tiptoe around them because they're going to start something with you. Anyway. Intimacy, make sure this is not used as a weapon and make sure it's not being used as a weapon against you. Mm. <laughs> you know, an example of this type of influence on a man, think of a man who thinks that he should be able to get away with whatever, um, especially the kind of man who uh, cons people to take care of him uh won't do anything for himself thinks he's the king and like again this idea of like a kingdom around i already gave the example of the queen bee who has to control everything 
and might even take pride in it. A lot of these times people are dumb. Okay. Like, listen, I said what I said. These psychologists out there, all love and respect to you. Some of you, some of you just are terrible, but to some of you who are good practitioners, all love and respect y'all. But like, they'll say like cluster B personality disorder, people, especially narcissists are incredibly intelligent usually. Or psychopaths are usually very intelligent too. I've met some of the dumbest narcissists. I really have. Okay. And I'm sorry. When you see me get quiet or look away or something, that's because there's 20 thoughts going on at once. And I'm just trying to edit it down. Revelation. I think part of why I was supposed to, number one, continue these videos. I didn't want to. I didn't want to because I saw this as something that like, it's been a decade long journey. It's been exhausting. Um, at times it's been wonderful, right? It, it's like anything. But then I was getting to this place of like, okay, this doesn't feel like the assignment anymore. What is it? <laughs> and um, the answer I received was that, you know, oops, I just, that's a candle that I hit with the cards. Anyway, um, the answer behind that was you can keep speaking, but it's time to basically up the message, right? And up doesn't mean now you're elevated and you get to do harder stuff. No, we as a humanity, we've all grown enough together that we can start exploring other territory, okay? So this was part of this revelation and uh, one of the things that I think I was so disheartened about with doing this kind of stuff, angels and doing angel work, to me, that's of God. It's of God. So uh, if you don't like that, what are you doing? Like, why are, why are you bothering me? Okay. How many times? I, how many times? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How many times have I edited myself and not spoken Jesus, right? Like not, not said it because I'm going to get it from the Christians. You'd be like, you're not a real Christian because rah, rah, rah. by the way, Jezebel's go to church all the time. As a matter of fact, that's where you can find the most of them is at church. Okay. Go light a candle to the good Lord, baby Jesus. And ask that you be protected from them, okay? You know as well as I do, the people who are acting like they're, you know, good, in this case, good Christians, right? Um, are doing the worst things out in the world. And I think that's one of the most vile <laughs> things that really gets under my skin. But that is part of the spiritual battle. Do you understand? The things that were, um, it, it's all... It's all a lie. It's all, life is a lie. <laughs> that sounds so dramatic, but <laughs> that's not what I mean. But like, this is part of that revelation where you're realizing like, hey, so just because someone claims to have a moral high ground doesn't make it true. Just because someone has title of priest does not mean that they actually have your best interest at heart. We know that well, don't we? So this divine order with liberation, uh, this creative life force card, the revelation, this is what's occurring for those who are ready for it and acceptance. So this is not, um, this isn't really a time where people are like, where it's like, okay, finally others get what they have coming to them. It's more of a, I have clearer sight now and I see more than I ever cared to see. And I just have to accept that, okay? I'm going to tell you flat out. If you are sitting there and going, I'm very spiritually advanced. you got a special place in hell for you. I said what I said. If you are sitting there going, I already know all of this. <sighs> There's a special place in hell for you. Guess what's going to take you there? Your attachments. But you don't care. You can't even hear this. So let me speak to everybody else who is just as susceptible as anybody to have these attachments. But it's what you do. When you start feeling that, 
Do you give yourself a chance to connect back in to the divine? Do you give yourself a chance to rest? If someone is trying to pull you down, do you just allow it? We are not to tolerate this type of energy. Do you realize that I know there's teaching, turn the other cheek. But there's also empowering the darkness by going, you know what? It's fine. You know what? It's okay. How do you think the queen bee becomes the queen bee? Complacency. Brainwashing. She's got everyone thinking, or he has everyone thinking, that they are nothing if they are not in the presence of them. There are going to be things happening that may feel like we are, I keep talking about the split world, where it's something you can't touch. The problem is, is, oh, there are going to be so many people out there who think, I've done the work, therefore I deserve a spot. No, you don't. You know why? You're still a jackass. I said what I said. You're a terrible person. That type of energy, what will they say to me? Well, look at you. You're being a hypocrite because blah, 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 blah. I'm not tolerating your darkness, your dark behavior. I'm not tolerating your manipulation. I'm not tolerating your conniving, quite frankly, disgusting human behavior. It's not even really human, quite frankly. So. I'm going to put the messages out there. If you're hearing this, there's probably only a couple of people who are going to really get what I'm saying here. Everyone else is going to be judging or playing victim or getting paranoid and then pointing the finger and saying, it's you, 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 you made me paranoid. Or some of you are going to get up like this preacher and finding, in this case, finding it sounds like a young group of men (coughs) where they would be impressionable and teaching them his ways. What do you need to do? Pray. You need to be praying. You need to stop holding back what you really believe. You know, you practice in the way that is right for you, that feels authentic to you. And if you are a lighted soul, truly, and you want to get a reading that is about spiritual guidance, you're not coming in to get a reading to talk about how great you are. You're not coming in to get a reading to brag about how many men want you. I've had that. And she sent me a picture. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe that is a little bit nasty. But I can't lie around that one. I just can't. I just can't. Or you want to come in and talk about, I have so many books that I know will be published and the whole world would just love me. me, 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 me. Or I'm entitled to take, 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 take from other people. Or I'm entitled to cheat. You make all the excuses. Now I'm not saying that if you've done this in the past and you've mended your ways that you are this terrible person or whatever. But it all comes down to the entitlement and the betrayal and stabbing another human in the back. What you're going to see are going to be these like more immediate karma, if you want to see it that way. I know since I had this little revelation over the weekend, I saw in my own timeline moments where that type of attachment got to me.
you know, I, I've spoken very openly before about things that happened in childhood. I think that had a lot to do with it. And um, that sort of dark energy. And things that continued to happen to me into adulthood. Just trying to take and sacrifice my life force. And sometimes I've been so dimmed down that I didn't know if I was going to be able to take another breath. I didn't know if I would have a future. But it did not win over me. And if you ask how, it was God. It was God. When I feel something around me, because I'm hypersensitive. <laughs> Again, I don't know if that's a great thing, but I'm hypersensitive. And I work with angels. But still, sometimes I feel this presence that is trying to stop me in my tracks. Just had a dream a couple of weeks ago where I literally in my sleep, I woke up to me saying, God, help me. And something had a hold of me and it was pressing me down and it was choking me. It's trying to silence me. And when I said, God, help, it stopped immediately. When I, in my case, my comfort level, you do your comfort level. I'm not saying that if you're a different religion or different belief system that you're terrible. I mean, as long as you have a pure connection to the divine, oh, we're good, okay? <laughs> like, you do whatever. And thank you guys for giving me blessings from your faith. Uh, that warms my heart, that connection. I, uh, I wish everybody could have that. I really do. But uh, when I've needed the most protection... And I call out to God. That protection comes. The past few days have been troublesome. <laughs> um, but also a little bit miraculous. Like there's been a flow and a serendipitous kind of nature to things. Even in the most mundane sense. And I smile to myself. And I say thank you to God. Because I'm I'm starting to come through some lessons that's just a personal thing but I think there is a larger spiritual war going on um but even you know doing work earlier today there was so much to do and I thought oh gosh you know this is going to take forever to get all this done it, it got done in 30 minutes and I'm talking like this would have been potentially hours worth of work got done in 30 minutes and I remember I looked over at the clock and I said the time out loud to someone else. And I'm like, that's not bad. And they looked at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but, you know, I, I was amazed how, I, I wouldn't say I'm in a happy place right now. I'm in a stunned place from the revelations that I've had. I hope that makes sense. And I hope you, um, if you've chosen to stay here this long to keep listening to this, that you have done so with a pure heart not to track because historically I haven't given permission for people like that to be stopped because my heart aches for them and that's how they keep getting in and partly too I have this feeling of if I I don't know how to explain this like somehow if I don't allow them Forgive how I'm going to put this. I don't mean it in the way it's going to sound. But if I don't allow someone to make me the punching bag, they may take it out on their children or they may take it out on their spouse or some innocent person, someone who, you know, an elderly person or, you know what I mean? Like they're going to take it out on someone else and I'd rather them take it out on me. It's sort of like pick on someone your own size. Um, but I've learned that it doesn't have to be that way. And I can turn something over into God's hands. And some of you are worshiping what you think is God. It's not God. It's not God. And I'm getting like a sick 
oh, that sick feeling about what some of you think you're engaging in. Please be careful. Be careful and don't ignore the guidance as it comes through. If you've been watching, especially YouTube, uh, for any amount of time, you've seen readers start. Now, I, I'm not talking like some people from the past who just went like, I rebuke my whole body of work and now I'm a super Christian. Listen, but they just took like the um, kind of pushy nature that they had in in this other realm over to this realm. You feel me? Okay. But you have seen some others go, hey, I've felt a pull to go this direction now. We had our time and it was for a good reason. And now it's time to move into a different direction. So if I'm, I'm going to say right now that I am not going to allow, I am going to energetically put a block on anybody who wants to spread darkness in the comments. Now, even if you are able to put that comment down, um, you receive no energy in return and it will come back to you uh, times 10. So make your choices wisely. I have so much more to say, <laughs> but I will end this with the reading thing. Again, as I said before, if you're really willing to come and engage in a higher frequency, okay, and you're not just coming in because you can't, you never tire of hearing about yourself or you want to hear how great you are uh, in your spiritual practice or something like that. <laughs> if you're wanting this for pure reasons, angelsouls444.com. I need a break from the live readings. I need a break. Okay. So I'm going to pull back on that for the moment. I can keep you posted on that. The other readings, you can still do that. I am going to limit those to U.S. residents only. Uh, I have my reasons. <laughs> U.S. residents only. I do apologize to everybody outside of the U.S. Uh, a lot of you have been my clients for years and years, but, um, you know, rules change. Things get complicated. I hope you understand, but you can still be here, be here. Okay. Make sure you're still talking to me through the comments. It'll just be with like services. And, um, I don't know how that works for other things, but at least for readings, we will leave it there. Maybe I'll do some dailies. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.